Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy, holy, holy name. We bring you greetings from the United Missionary Baptist Church here in Cleveland, Ohio, where we're building God's kingdom one soul at a time. And I want to say to all of the mothers out there watching, uh, God bless you and happy Mother's Day. Ah, we celebrate mothers today all over. We thank God for mothers and for the love and for the nurture and the comfort that uh, she brings and has brought to all of our lives. And we got, we just want to wish all of our mothers a very blessed and happy Mother's Day. And so we're here today in no other form or fashion but to lift up the name of the Lord. And so we've come here to be able to share the word with you, share the gospel message uh, to you, be of encouragement to you. And we're so glad to say that in this season of pandemic, in this season of quarantine, this season of shutdown, I am so glad to say that, yes, the building is closed, but the church of God is open. And so we thank you and we give praise unto God today. Father, we thank you for another opportunity to be able to partake in your service. We thank you, oh God, uh, for blessing us with the means to be able to uh, bring the word forth. And so right now we ask that you bless this service, oh God, that uh, somebody's life might be changed, somebody may be drawn closer to you. And we'll forever give your name all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 So blessed today to have with us our minister of music, uh, Brother Dion Davis, the doctor of praise, and he's going to come to us in his own way with ministry in song. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on and clap your hands and celebrate our Lord and Savior. Amen. You just need more and more of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Yeah. 
joy? What is it that makes a mother's heart content? Uh, I believe we would find a multiplicity of things. And so uh, the dictionary, if you Google, you can Google just about anything. And if you want to know what makes a mother happy, here's some of the things that is found uh, when you Google it. Number one, show her you care through communication. Mm -hmm. In other words, talk about her life. Ask your mother how she's feeling. Mm. Send her a text message. Apologize when you mess up. Put yourself in her shoes. Talk to her about your problems. And develop a friendship that includes a few inside jokes. That's one way you can uh, show your mother that you care. Another thing you can do is you can show her you care through your actions. Buy her a gift. And I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to live and say no mother today should uh, be alive and not receive something from her children. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, even in this quarantine, uh, if we got virtual church service and virtual work service and virtual anything, you certainly can give your mother a virtual gift. Amen. Leave her a note. Introduce her to your friends. Help around the house. Cook her a meal. Spend some time with her. Show some maturity by doing your own laundry. Remember important dates like her birthday or anniversary. My brothers and sisters, all of these are good suggestions. And any one of these suggestions would put a smile on your mother's face. But the problem is, with this list, is to be effective, it has to be sincere and not manipulative. Mm. In other words, don't just do these things because you want something in return. Amen. I mean, you know, mothers can smell a setup like that on a mile away. Amen. You know how we do, Mom, you look beautiful today. Do you have 20 bucks that I can borrow? Right. Mom, isn't it uh, your day to rest? I'll do the dishes, but can I use the car later? You know how we, we try and set it up um, in order to get something in return. Mama, you need a break today. Let's order two pieces, but don't, uh, listen, don't forget the extra cheese and sausage and, and maybe a few wings because I got some of my friends I want to share. Y'all get the point that I'm trying to make this morning. You cannot be manipulative with your love when it comes to your mother. Amen. And so as I thought about the perfect gift for Mother's Day, I thought about what would, uh, what uh, could, what I could help my kids to do for my wife. I thought about all the gifts that I would have bought my own mother, and a strange thought came to me. And I could be wrong, and I'm sure that if I'm wrong, I'm sure that any mother that's listening to this message will tell me I got it wrong. But I am of the persuasion this morning that there is but one thing every mother would be thrilled to have from her children, and that is a smile on her face. I'm sorry, but Hallmark and Edible Arrangement and cards and candies and flowers, they're all good, but I just believe that everything that puts a smile on a mother's face, it relates to her children and her grandchildren. And so for a few moments, I want to talk about Three things that makes a mother happy. Three things that puts a smile on her face. And so first of all, mothers are happy when their children are successful. Amen. Every mother hopes and dreams for her children in most instances before they're even born. In other words, they long for the day when their child's financial ties will be severed, not for selfish reasons. Uh, you know, I believe every mother wants her children to be financially stable, but not so that she can be free. But, but listen, there's not a good mother who would not help to continue to pour out her means to help her struggling child. But because they want to know that their children will prosper, even after she's gone on to glory. Amen. And can I tell you, a mother's true happiness and true joy, she joys over her children's success, beginning when they are very young. Amen. What I mean is, mama saves the awards for reading and math, and all the medals and the plaques from field day and sport competition. 
competition. Oh yes, and as the child matures and succeeds, uh, as success looms over the horizon, mama continues to pray that high school diploma and college uh, degree is in hand. But it doesn't stop there. I believe that mothers get a thrill with every achievement after that. Oh yes, from their child's first job to the child's first promotion, and even their first venture off into entrepreneurship. And don't you think it's all about money today? Because I'm not just talking about money, but I believe every mother smiles and has joy in her heart when her child is happy doing what he or she likes to do. Amen. And so if you want to put a smile on your mother's face, don't let the only reason she comes up to the school for you be because you're always in trouble. How many of you know that you can put a smile on your mother's face by playing a sport? Put a smile on her face by participating in a program. Put a smile on her face by making honor roll or merit roll. If you really want to put a smile on your mother's face, graduate from high school. Let her see you walk across the stage. Then go off to college and the military and train school. Get a job and show some responsibility. Amen. Give her something she can brag about. Well. Give her something to talk about to her family and friends. Yeah. The mere fact that you were born, she, listen, she counts that as a gift. I don't know no true mother, no true godly mother who don't look at her children as a gift. Amen. But as time goes by, you ought to be more of a blessing to her than a burden. I wish I had some sons and daughters who wants to put a smile on their mother's face. Amen. If you do, you can start by being successful. Mm -hmm. Not only success, uh, successful, but mothers are happy, and she has a smile on her face when she knows that her children are healthy. Yes. Every mother wants her children in good health. Mm -hmm. In other words, no mother wants to see her child suffer mm -hmm. through sickness and unnecessary illness. Uh, we went to the grocery store yesterday, and I was appalled at the number of mothers who had their small kids with them, allowing them to touch everything uh, and go anywhere, and they didn't even have a mask on their face. Mm -hmm. Physical and mental health are synonymous with peace. I believe that when a mother knows her child is in good health, she has peace in her heart. In other words, no mother can lay her head down calmly at night knowing that her child is suffering. Mm -hmm. And I don't care how old you get, you never stop being your mama's baby. That's right. No mother wants to see her child hurt. Mm -hmm. No mother wants to see her child suffering. Mm -hmm. If it's a medical issue, mama is there. If it's a financial burden, mama is there. If it's a legal problem, mama is there. If it's a problem up at the school, guess what? Mama is there. That's right. That's right. And well, I'm, I'm only not just mama, but sometimes it's mama and grandma. Mm -hmm. No mother wants to see a child in pain or distress. Mm -mm. And if we be real, a mother's desire for her children's good health are biblical. How do I know? Because it was the Apostle Paul who said, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in good health. Yes. Oh, yes, and that's what makes a parent genuinely happy, whether it's a biological child or a spiritual uh, offspring. I don't know about you, but every week uh, I got all my aunts who I check in with, and they check in on me. And then I got the church mothers who, who, who call me and, and check on me. And being successful makes us put a smile on our mother's face, but being healthy makes her smile and bring her joy. No mother wants to know that her child is suffering. No mother wants to know that her child is ill. We need to know if we want to put a smile on our mama's face, we got to take care of ourselves. Amen. And so there's, there's something else. One last thing, and I'm almost through. Uh, you really want to make your mother happy. You really want to put a smile on her face. Uh, I dare you to give your life to Christ. Mm -hmm. Mothers are happy when their children are saved. Amen. 
Now I can't, I can't, I, I listen, in my sanctified quarantine ears, I hear every mother in, 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 in Facebook land saying, Amen. Every mother wants her children saved. Amen. I've been in ministry now for 20 years. Mm. Uh, 15 of those years I've served as either an interim pastor or a senior pastor. And I can tell you nothing can describe a look on a mother's face when her child gives his or her life over to the Lord. I shared this story before, but the first two funerals I ever did was a result of a mother who called me and she literally had two sons in the nursing home and both of them were dying. Mm. The doctors had given up on them. And all that mother asked me to do was to go to her son's bedside and give them the plan of salvation. Mm. Can I tell you, a Christian mother spends countless hours praying for her children. She prays for the salvation of her children. That's because she knows that the souls of her children are the most important part of their life. And I just believe that a great majority of mothers will agree that they could deal with their child's sickness. They can deal with their child's poverty as long as they know that their child is saved. You want to know why? Because the world is temporary. Uh, we're only here for a moment and then we have to face eternity and where we spend eternity matters to our mothers. That's why godly mothers insist that their children go to Sunday school. It's not just for you to learn how to live right while you're here on earth, but it's also to impress upon you the importance of making final arrangements for your soul. Amen. Amen. And so we need to know that one day we're going to leave up out of here. Mm -hmm. And your mother knows that your soul belongs to God. And she understands the necessity of the soul's healing from Satan's womb. Your mother knows that your soul was wrongfully taken by Satan and it must be reclaimed. And before the Lord sounds his trumpet to call your soul into judgment, your mother wants you to make your own final arrangement. And I'm not talking about a final arrangement that you make down at the funeral home. But I'm talking about a final arrangement that you make when you give your life to Christ. Your mother knows that she can't do it for you. You know, one of the things about a mother is she really thinks she can do any and everything for her child. And she'll go to back for them. But there's one thing she can't do. She can't save them. Amen. I'm reminded in the Bible, the Apostle John, who wrote to the Roman political council, similar to Paul's letter, uh, John said, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospered. Mm -hmm. That's 3 John 1 and 2. Now what struck me was the order of the importance that John placed on all three. He placed first importance on your soul, then prosperity, and then health. It's the identical order of importance that Christian mothers place on their children. She first wants them saved, then she wants them strong, and she wants them successful. Well, And so as I get ready to close, mm. I want to encourage you that God wants to prosper and have you in good health. But God's primary concern is your soul. Amen. That's why his plan of salvation was so carefully crafted. What I mean is this someone had to move Satan's power over sin out the way. And that someone was Jesus. Well, Jesus endured the penalty of all sin. Suffering a horrific death out on the cross just so that we can go to him and be reconnected to God. Yes. And so the question becomes, why did Jesus have to pay for our sin in the first place? Well, I'm glad you asked because God's divine law requires punishment for sin and he couldn't change that. Not even for his only begotten son. And so somebody had to pay it off so your soul can reunite with the Father. Because like oil and water, how many you know good and evil just can't mix? And so the best thing our mothers can do for us is 
to pray for our salvation. Amen. And that's a lot because the effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man or woman availeth much. Well, and when I look at that scripture, the word effectual means powerful. The word fervent means sincere. And who can pray a more powerful and sincere prayer than our mother? Let me bring it down for you a little bit further. Sin sinks into us, but Christ saves us. Well, Your mother can throw out a lifeline, but you've got to be willing to grab it and be pulled into safety. And so what's the best gift that you can give your mother on Mother's Day? Not just to the mothers who are still alive, but for our mothers that's gone on to glory. What's the best gift that you can give her? You can put a smile on her face. And what puts a smile on our mother's face is our success. What puts a smile on our mother's face is good health. What puts a smile on our mother's face is the fact that we are saved. And so, yes, if you give your life to Christ, and let him save your soul. The text says here in Proverbs 23 and 29 says that she that bear thee shall rejoice. In other words, she'll rejoice that your soul has found a home. She'll rejoice that she will never be separated from the children she loves, not even in death. She'll rejoice because your name will be written in the Lamb's book of life. Yeah. And so to all the mothers today, I say happy Mother's Day. To all the Christian mothers, we honor you today because the joy of the Lord is your strength. We honor you today because you bless the Lord at all times. We honor you today because his praise continues to be in your mouth. We honor you today because you give unto the Lord the glory that's due his name. We honor you today because your soul thirsts for the living Savior. Oh yes, and so we rejoice today. We're blessed today by our godly mother, but not just because of our mothers, but because of the one
asking her, huh, if it was Mother's Day, if it was her birthday, if it was Christmas, Mama, what, what can I get you? And she always told me, you can't buy me what I want. Mm. But as long as you all right, I'm all right. Yep. Yep. I hear my wife tell that to, to the kids. Yep. Uh, if you all right, That's the best I'm all right. And so we thank God for our, our mothers today. Amen. We thank God for the love that she gave us. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. We thank God for the nurture, nurturing that she gave us. Mm-hmm. Thank you. We thank God for the prayers. Amen. Woo! Yes. For the prayers. Amen. That still keeps us. Amen. We thank God for our mothers. Amen. And so wherever you are, whoever you are, if you listen, maybe you didn't go out and and buy your mama something for Mother's Day. Uh, Maybe maybe you didn't plan, shame on you, but maybe you didn't plan to even get her nothing for Mother's Day. Or maybe your mother is not even here anymore. She's She's resting in the arms of of God. I want you to know you can still honor her. Amen. You can still be a blessing to her. Amen. Because the best thing you can give your mother is a smile on her face. Amen. By doing what you know you're supposed to do. That's right. That's taking care of yourself. That's right. And more than that, Giving your life to Christ. Amen. Jesus is love. Yes. And if you don't have Jesus in your heart, you cannot emulate love. You don't love your mother. That's right. You don't love anybody. That's right. Unless you love the Lord. Show enough. First. And so, whoever you are, wherever you are, give. If you've never given your life to Christ, honor your mother today. Bless your mother today by giving your life to him. Wherever you are, whoever you are, if you've never accepted Christ in the free part of your sin, pray pray this prayer with me. Lord, I am a sinner. But I believe Jesus died on the cross for my sins. I believe that God raised him from the dead. Mm-hmm. And now I invite you, Lord, into my heart. I invite you into my life. Where I am broken, mend me. Oh, Lord. Where I am sick and ill, Spiritually, Jesus, heal me. Jesus, Jesus. Where I lean, prop me up yes. that I might stand. Yes, yes. And Lord, I'll live the rest of my days for you. Yes. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you prayed that prayer, if you prayed that prayer, find yourself a Bible teaching. And Bible preaching church where you can give your life over to Him, where you can live for Him, where you can serve for Him, and where you can help somebody else to be saved. Amen. We invite you to join us here at United Missionary Baptist Church. Amen. 9312 Union Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio, 44105. God bless you, and may God keep you, is my most sincere prayer. And I want to say to you, if you're listening this morning, if you're watching this morning, and you are a member of a church, my prayer is that you're supporting your church's ministry, you're still supporting your pastor. And if this message and this ministry has been a blessing to you, and you want to sow a seed here, we invite you to do so. You can sow a seed by Giftify, or you can um, you can mail it in 
however you want to do it, as the Lord bless you and you want to be a blessing, we thank God for you. Amen. Again, to all the mothers that are watching, happy Mother's Day. May God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. And may you enjoy the rest of your day. Father, we thank you. And we praise you for what our eyes have seen and what our ears have heard. We thank you, O oh God, for your word, your written word and your preached word. Now help us, Father, help us. to apply the word to our lives. In the name of Jesus. That we might be changed In the name and drawn closer to you. In, the name of In Jesus. Jesus' name, yes, Lord. we pray. We believe and receive. Yes, we do. And all God's children say, Amen. Amen.